Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Thomas Halbert has been fighting with drama channels yet again. So what has he done this time? Well, Dustin Daly, a fabulous drama channel, was harassed the house after burning sage because the particular sage he was burning is apparently endangered. But instead of people educating him about the particular type of plant he was burning, they harassed him, attacked him, and tried to cancel him. And Thomas Halbert joined in on the cancel bandwagon. Dustin had tweeted, this sage I'm burning smells like weed. He had then got attacked on Twitter and he had responded, please cancel me for burning sage with no intentions of offending anyone. So what I've learned today is, it's wrong to be white, it's wrong to be gay, that basically I'm the trash of the earth for burning sage. Y'all can eat my whole ass and play with my too. You won't steal my joy. Thomas Halbert had then taken to his Twitter and had subtweeted, White sage is specific to indigenous people, and I don't recommend growing something or using something you don't know the full background or cultural history of. But yeah, you can grow any plant if you have soil. Lol. Did I tell y'all you couldn't use it? I told y'all I don't recommend it. Please get the F out of my mentions. Thank you. Why would you, if you don't know anything about it, do an indigenous ritual when you yourself have zero experience or ties to it, especially when there's rituals out there that do the same thing, but have ties to your race and culture. I'm only making a recommendation. Relax. I don't think people think about energetic repercussions that can come out of spiritual malpractice. Lastly, celebrating and liberating cultures comes with learning and understanding them. Not thinking something is cool and doing it because it's fun, and you read a cosmopolitan article saying something will clear your house of bad vibes. I don't think I'm being unreasonable when I say don't conduct spiritual rituals that you don't know slash understand. Please proceed with caution. These things are connected to centuries of energy and ancestors. Conducted improperly or by the wrong person can have adverse effects. And beautiful indigenous rituals being dumbed down or turned into some fairy tale magic tricks is insulting and only furthers colonization and erasure of natives. I'm really not trying to polarize you guys or make you upset. I'm trying to provide different perspectives. Being a witch or just a spiritual person only works if you're educated on it. If you practice properly and your mindset is right. Energy work is about intention. Remember that. Dustin had responded, yeah, Let's remember that next time you do some shady ass shit that comes back tenfold. Thomas had responded to a stream of tweets from Dustin Daly and had said, I told him to try European smudging methods and this is how he reacts. LMFAO. Dustin had said, Honestly, why are you even still replying to me at this point? I simply made an observation. You do dirt and you get dirt and then you unfollowed me. Go be miserable. You want to talk about energy and yours is by far the nastiest? You just hide it. I blocked Thomas and I'ma tell you why. I've been dragged across this platform for the past day and he wanted to chime in and add fuel to the fire. Then he wants to tweet about energy and shit. Let's remember that you get what you give and I've been incredibly nice to Thomas, even when I shouldn't have been, when he egged that person on that doxed me. I've checked on him, offered to film with him, but he wanted to capitalize on some shit. I'm not with it. Thomas had then responded to one of Dustin's fans saying, I wasn't trying to cancel him, stupid just give him other options. That tweet had since been deleted. Dustin had further responded to Thomas stating, Oh, kismet, you would try to put your two cents in this, wouldn't you? Kissing anyone's ass that doesn't like me. The issue Thomas doesn't grasp is, why couldn't he have texted me, considering the amount of pure vile tweets I've already received today? Nick Snyder, another drama channel, had then tweeted, Let me address this real quick for those throwing shade. Dustin Daly, both him and I, offered to film with Thomas Beauty when we were in LA. This was during the beauty con drama he was involved in. It was to get Thomas's side at the story since he was going at it with Ethan. In fact, that video would have gained Thomas Beauty views because he was sitting down with the drama channels he had issues with in the past, so let's not run around calling others irrelevant. Thomas had responded to Nick by stating, which I was happy to film. I don't know why Dustin hates me all of a sudden. I was trying to be nice and informative since he stated before he wasn't even sure he was using Sage right. I'm so confused as to why he's so mad at me. She doesn't hate you girl. Summer down lol. His reaction reads otherwise. And even after I explained I wasn't trying to come after him, he continues. So so again, his reaction reads otherwise. Dustin had responded, Watch out, he will get in his feels and unfollow you. Thomas had further tweeted, I do apologize for calling a girl a stupid on Twitter today. I take what I believe, practice, and pray to very seriously, and someone trying to diminish my knowledge on something I live and breathe by was triggering. She's not a stupid Sorry, lol. Sorry, lol. Sorry, lol. If it makes y'all feel any better, I'm a stupid 
too. Thomas had then taken to Twitter the following day stating, Good morning, the way I was attacked yesterday was unnecessary, but I'm ready to have a good day today. A fan had responded, Cannot believe you're being cancelled again. Thomas had replied, Trust me, I'm not getting cancelled, Ali Mayo. I just have people, specifically white people, upset that I'm asking them to respect indigenous people. OMG, anyways, I'm done with talking about this. If you have a problem with me, take it up with your therapists. The amount of gaslighting I've had to deal with over the white sage, like, people are crazy. My boyfriend was right to not trust these people. That switch up was so odd, it did not sit well with my spirit. I'm not really getting attacked anymore, lol. My mentions are full of people having awesome conversations about indigenous medicine, religion, and cultures. It's awesome to see. That was my initial purpose yesterday when I started to discuss it. I don't care about other noise. And then Thomas had decided to take to his Instagram story to shade at Dustin Daly. Here's what he had to say. I wanted to sit up here real fast and have a little chit chat with my IG followers because um, I neglect you. I neglect my Insta story, but I, I do want to rant real fast now that my headache has gone away. Thank you to ibuprofen. Love you. <laughs> I am not a religious person, person, but I am a very spiritual person. I take spirituality very seriously. I practice it. I've been practicing it since I was 16 and it is just a huge part of my life. Astrology actually was what kind of like made me get into it a little bit. Um, astrology at 16 years old is what made me get into it. Um, and ever since then it's been like a domino effect of me just getting really into it. And I use spirituality as like a blanket term um, because there's so many different ways to do it um those of which that i choose not to do because it's not really like it's like a cultural thing like you like native americans or indigenous people they practice certain a certain type of spirituality it's like there's all different kind you know what i'm saying like and that's what i choose not to practice because i'm not Indigenous. I'm not a Native American. I don't have any ancestors who are. So what would I be doing doing an indigenous ritual or a practice that is a part of their culture when I don't have any ancestors? I don't have any ties to that. It wouldn't really be doing anything because it's, it's something based in their culture and what they've practiced for so long. And it's... It, there, and it's like a respect thing too, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't just do it. Anyways, this has there's a point to me talking about this. Oh, I don't practice um, stuff that other cultures use, right? Because I feel like out of respect to them, I shouldn't. Do I study them? Yes, because they're interesting. I would love to learn. And it's, it, it's something I'm interested in, but I'm not gonna practice it because out of respect and out of just, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend someone who's, I guess, European white to try an indigenous ritual that isn't really connected to you on a soul level or like a blood level and an ancestral level. Like, I don't recommend that because, you know, it's it, it could do the opposite of what you want it to do. It's not a part of I, I don't know. That's just my belief. That's what I believe in. I do it out of respect, but I do practice. I do not practice, but I do study and I love learning about all different kinds of cultures and they're not, maybe they're religions. We're going to say religions rather than their spirituality because it's, it's re religions more of like a, a way to say it. Um, but that's just what I choose to do. Now today on Twitter, Now, today on Twitter, um, a friend or someone who I thought was a friend, um, Dustin Daly, he, I guess, was going through some sort of drama about using White Sage, and I had given him a really cool recommendation of, well, one, White Sage has been coined endangered by a lot of people. Um, indigenous people have asked people not to use it, um, who aren't indigenous, who aren't Native Americans and all that stuff. Um, and there are so many European methods to smudge, to clear out negative energy out of your house, to clear crystals. There's so many different alternatives. And I was giving Dustin um, some insight and information in a nice way. 
And, um, you know, obviously a lot of my followers who don't really understand ask me questions. And of course, I get really heated when people try to diminish what I understand, what I study, what I believe in, what I practice. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a part of my universe. It's a part of my life. Like, it's something that I'm every single fucking day almost is something that I'm like adamantly talking about, adamantly studying, reading books on, reading articles on, always, like, it's a huge part of me. I don't really appreciate when I'm coined, I, I'm, all he- I'm all for hearing other people's perspectives and how they view spirituality and religions and all that stuff and what they believe, what they've studied and what they've read. Like, I'm ready to hear it. Tell me, I want to know, give me articles, give me information, because there's so many different, there's so many different writings and just different, you know, there's just so many different things about it, um, about it, and a lot of it's like melting pot almost, like there's so many things that are mixed together and that's why I believe so many white people or just non-indigenous people use white sage because they read a cosmopolitan article about it and all of a sudden now they can just burn this magical plant and all of a sudden like their house is cleared of negative energy like it doesn't work like that that's literally not how it works but it's become so melting pot so common that it's almost like erasing what it's about and what it was used for and what <clears throat> how sacred that plant is to indigenous people and you know throughout the years it's being taken by like european people for you know other sorts of spirituality or whatever and then people coming at me saying like well this culture uses it and this culture well again it's still a sacred thing to native americans to indigenous people and it's wouldn't be surprising if all of a sudden something sacred to indigenous people is all of a sudden being used by European people. It's really, it's, I mean, has anyone taken a history class? It gets annoying real fast when you have so many people diminish your knowledge and your, or like question your validity in studying what you know. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like me going a doctor's office and being like I'm sick and the doctor is being like no you're not you're fine I'm like but I'm sick or like you know what I'm saying or like the doctor saying you broke your leg and all of a sudden you're trying to say like no I didn't break my leg and your leg's clearly fucking broken I, you know what I'm saying it's like it's just it's rude it's uncalled for um so it was a little bit annoying today on Twitter but outside of that um because people are trying or honestly he's trying but there's no tea or drama between me and this person, Dustin Daly. Um, I thought we were cool. I mean, he seems, he seemed like a cool person, um, but his reaction to my help from him was a bit left field and confusing and off-putting. Um, I understand, like, I have my reactions to people I called someone a stupid bitch on Twitter today, so. But, um, yeah, I understand, like, brash, harsh reactions to things, but I was so nice. I was confused why he attacked me the way he did, but, um, that's fine. He probably just needs a good old, good old fucking or something. Maybe he just needs some chamomile tea. I don't know. Um, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Again, I, I posted a apology on Twitter, but I'm going to do it on my IG story, even though all my Instagram followers like, we don't give a shit. Um, can you post a YouTube video? <laughs> um, I called someone a stupid bitch today on Twitter, and I do apologize, but when you're questioning my knowledge or like questioning me and my what I believe in and my individuality and just my free spirit and just like who I am, like, I don't like it when that happens, and when I know it, or when it's just like a Google search, too. You're a stupid bitch. No, I'm kidding. But I feel bad. Like, I obviously shouldn't have called someone a stupid bitch. That's rude. Even my boyfriend was like, you shouldn't be calling people stupid bitches. Like, that's rude. That's... 
be clear. I used to be like Dustin. I used to, and that's why I was being nice. Like I used to be like Dustin where I just like didn't understand why people were attacking me about White Sage. Like I used to be like Dustin. I used to think that it was unnecessary for me to like for anyone to have so much weight into a plant and stuff like that. But these are people's religions. These are people's cultures that they care about. And of course they're going to try to preserve them, especially indigenous people when literally almost their entire everything is continuously being tried like like they're continuously even to this day like trying to be erased and removed from everything like i get it and that's why i tried to help him in a nice way because i have been in his position before like i'm like that's it that's literally it so it was just uh, it was just so weird um like, and I've been in the position of just thinking it was so dumb. Like, I tweeted something a long time ago that I upset Sage Twitter. And it's not even upsetting Sage Twitter. It's about upsetting a group of people that really believe in their traditions and their religion, spirituality, whatever, their rituals and stuff like that. That it, It's deep for these people, for, for indigenous people. So I was just trying to help... Um, and give him alternatives and give you guys alternatives to it as well. You can burn lavender, cedar is really good, um, mugwort. Um, there's black sage, but that's more for internal healing. Um, there's so many other plants that you can grow at home that's meant for the same thing. Um, and uh, so many other like European methods, like salt, there's so many methods like taking a salt bath like there's just so many other methods you don't need to use something that doesn't really like if you don't understand it there's not really any point in doing it so yeah okay bye dustin daly had then responded to thomas halbert's instagram story stating the part where he apologizes and says but thomas consistently shows he's negative and bitter the hell he goes through is because of the way he acts you can only cover the smell of for so long dustin had then tweeted i've gotten quite a few requests about making a video about thomas i won't do that fact is if he was truly trying to be helpful he could have dm me this information and not tried to insert himself in a situation that was already very bad he will cancel himself i don't have to how can you cancel the cancelled make that make sense a fan had responded he should have done this in private instead he's pulling a gabriel and drawing attention to himself this is not how you treat friends he and i were never friends but i had enough respect and courtesy to always dm thomas about things and not blast him publicly. However, he took this opportunity for clicks and clout. Lastly, Dustin had tweeted, look at this. How the hell is Thomas turning me getting dragged for a day into something about him? He hasn't got a third of the shit I have. The only reason he was brought up is because he stuck his nose into an already heated situation. I don't understand this kid. What are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.